Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Emerson Sensi ST75 Programmable Digital Smart Thermostat. And we're going to be covering the factory reset as well as the setup menu. These are important things to do when you first install this in your house. Uh, you might get it used, you might get it off of eBay, so you want to go ahead and factory reset the device. It is a very common question I get. And the first thing you want to do is go right to the menu button and click on that. And then you're going to bring up the main menu and you're going to hit on about thermostat. And then you're going to see factory reset here in the corner. And here it is. Now you want to reset the thermostat and it's going to delete all this stuff. So essentially brand new clean slate. You're going to have to set up everything from scratch, um, your Wi-Fi network, your smartphone, smart home connection, thermostat schedules, thermostat lock settings, settings and preferences, everything. So go ahead and do that and it will reset your device. But I'm going to back out of this and then we're going to go back into the main menu and show you the setup menu. We're going to go really quickly over the whole device because uh, not a lot of people understand how to use this. So you have your menu, you have the current time, you have the current room temperature, the current room humidity, and then you have your up and down adjustment for temperature. And then you have your heat mode, and it's in heat, so you have the option of cool, you have auto, so that's auto changeover, and then you have off. Uh, you want the thing that could be completely off and, and no HVAC systems or uh, heating or cooling to operate. Uh, but we're going to leave it on heat and then fan option here is auto and on so if you select on it's going to stay on indefinitely continuously 24 7. so you don't want that you want to keep it in auto now let's go into the main menu and let's go over quickly the the, the, the user menu here and then we'll get into the advanced setup so we have sleep mode which is simple it's essentially um some options and parameters of the sleep screen what you want to show up, how bright you want it, things like that. So you can go ahead in there and then preview it to see what it's going to look like. So this is when it's like in its sleep uh, state. So that's very simple. Then the back glow essentially is there's LEDs in the back side of the plate that glow when you that help you install the device. It's um you know it's useful if you're you need to see what the wires are things like that. Uh, but you can. You know, just keep that off. You're really not going to use it. And then we have home screen content, which is uh, self-explanatory. Whatever you want to show on the home screen. You can go ahead and adjust your Fahrenheit or Celsius there too. Time of day, indoor humidity. Then the schedule button. I went over this in a, dip, in a different video. That's very self-explanatory. Check out that video. It goes over all the details in that. Then the Wi-Fi. You can turn it off or on. We have it off. Uh, and then also we have here the about thermostat, which we just uh, visited uh, to factor reset. Uh, contractor information is really not much in this screen. And then advanced setup is what I'm talking about. Let's go to the advanced setup and, and let's take a look at all these. Okay, so the, let's go from the bottom up because this is the simpler one. So we have the time, self-explanatory, set your time, set your date, very important for you. If you want to run a schedule and um, you know you have to have if you're, if you're setting this time you have to have the Wi-Fi off otherwise if you have the Wi-Fi on it's gonna sync up to your Sensi app and extract the, the time and date from that so Wi-Fi off if you want to manually set this on the device let's go back to the advanced setup dehumidify dehumidification is on and then you can select um, the percentage you want that set to very simple or you could turn it off uh, fan mode options uh, circulating fan so essentially it allows you to uh, circulate the fan 30% um, per hour you know up down to 10% per hour or if it's set to 100% an hour that basically be all all the time it would circulate the air in the house so I'm going to go in there and select off because I don't want it to circulate, but you get the idea. If you want it to circulate, you would set the percentage per hour uh, to do so. Okay, let's go up to the 
this icon here, which is the setup HVAC equipment. So this is the one I was talking about. It will give you a list of things and parameters to change. So we're going to hit change. And then we have the outdoor equipment, AC, AC2, HP. So this is air conditioning, uh, st one stage, air conditioning, two stage, heat pump, HP, is stands for e heat pump, HP1, HP2. So it, one equals stage one and two equals stage two, or you can select none. So this here, you have to adjust this accordingly to whatever your system configuration is. And then indoor equipment is going to be GA or fan. So I want to actually set this to fan and I'm going to set this one here, the outdoor equipment to heat pump one. So GA means gas. So gas stage one, gas uh, stage two, or electric heat uh, first stage and electric heat second stage. So if you have a two stage system, you would set it to um, your stage two setting or fan because fan is going to be a normal setting most of, most of the time that you're going to need. Um, it's most, most likely going to default to fan. Reversing valve position, O or B. I don't know what the, those exactly entail, but uh, call Emerson if you want to uh, look into that. Additional accessories, this is if you have any humidifier or dehumidifier wired up to the thermostat, you would go ahead and select yes or no on this. So I don't have anything wired up to the, to the thermostat to dehumidify or humidify the room, so I'm going to hit no. And that there is very simple. Uh, you just go in and select your configuration. Very simple. This is very intuitive layout. I love this thermostat because of this. Um, I think I'm going to switch over to these in my home because they're so su super simple to use and I enjoy using them and the, the menus are very intuitive. But that's all that's there for that menu and then you would hit save after you're done making your configuration settings and it'll bring you right back to that previous screen. Uh, and then you can back out of it and essentially, and you're done. You just took care of all your settings and uh, you're good to go. Uh, please check out my other videos though. I have the manual override as well as the uh, full programming of the device. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions or comments, please place them right down below. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.